today for a game of Ashes. Uh, it's a rematch today. Joe and I played on stream a few weeks back now. Uh, Joe's got a Fiona deck. I have my Jessa deck here ready to go. And uh, the other week we did a podcast recording kind of doctoring Joe's deck here. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to go back and listen to the changes that um, Joe has made to his deck for this game, you can go there for reference. So hopefully uh, you're feeling all souped up and ready to go for a rematch, Joe. Yes. If you want to get your own deck doctored, support Nick on Patreon. For $300 a month, he will give you a 30-minute meeting in which he helps you improve your deck. I don't Once have a month. That. <laughs> So here is Jessa. She's a cool Phoenix Born, deals with a lot of sacrificing and blood magic, and her ability screams of the departed. Once per turn, when a unit is destroyed, I can spend a basic to deal one damage to the opponent. So as the game goes on, each destruction of a unit becomes one option for me to progress the game to its end. So I have some inevitability there. And uh, hold, on, hold on, let me see this. Look at this. Look at this. Double signatures on oh, the back. Man. Isaac Vega and Fernando Suarez, but you know what? I think that's forged. I think I know Isaac's signature. That's a forged signature. It's not forged. <laughs> I think you got had oh, by man. an Isaac Vega Isaac impersonator. impersonator. <laughs> uh, Fiona. Fiona can um, unexhaust a ready spell each round, which is pretty special. And uh, yeah, she's from Bird's Nest. Uh, today is a day that will be celebrated in the halls of Bird's Nest Hall for years to come. For today is the day of Bird's Nest's vengeance on the Bloodwoods clan. Bring it on. The blood of the Bloodwoods will run through our nests <laughs> like a river. Excellent. All right. Ready to start? We got yep. our first fives picked out. And... The question is, mind maze or no mind maze? That's, I hate that question. That's what I don't you know. have to determine. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Three Ooh. basic for me. Five. Okay, so player who rolls the most basics gets to choose who goes first. I'll go first. Joe's going first. No matter which way I slice it, this deck is a pretty slow start, so... Take all the time you need. <laughs> no, I mean, you know. You know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's start with uh summon turtle guard that's my whole turn these turtles are so slow you as you can see it takes a main and a side action and you get a turtle guard you get you can make turtle guards indeed so <laughs> nice that you rolled a time power die there right off the bat so that's yes. a possible turtle that can be summoned for any aggressive yes. opening i have here's here. my turtle die so, Whoops, I moved um, the card stand. Sorry, Nikki. Knowing that that's coming up, I think I will. I'll put down Summon Frost back there. Oh, gee. This is one of the classic conjurations of Ashes. Um, one of Nature Magic's strengths is just having this reliable attacker that can be hard to block, and it's always dealing damage. It's got a lot of life, so even if you remove it, I'm not falling too far behind. So that'll be my main action. Side action, I'll do some meditating. When um, Nick was developing Ashes 1.5, he chose 10 special cards to be the best cards in the game. These are the 10 cards he's put in, in his Jessa deck. It's very easy. That's what I'm up against here. <laughs> Back to you, Joe. Um... All right, let's do um, uh, let's meditate for a horsey and play summon squall stallion. 
So that costs a horse to bring into play. And uh, that's going to be my turn, Nick. But okay. uh, this is, this, you notice this on the turtle guards both cost dice to put on a table. The hope is that I get efficient summons out of them extra times with Fiona's ability to unexhaust them. We call those book taxes in the industry. Oh, book taxes. I'll <laughs> summon a frostback bear and Ooh. make you Ooh. come up with a plan against it. So there's right. the frostback bear for two dice. Two and three. So I think my turtle guard can do okay there. Am I crazy or something? Turtle guards are pretty good at blocking bears. <laughs> they got enough attack to make sure that terrifying ability doesn't affect them. And that takes a whole turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So. That was Toby that just walked through. <laughs> I'm going to summon a hunt master. This ally comes into play with a companion conjuration, this panther spirit, which is just a little 1-1 one, one that lasts for the round. But the cool thing about Huntmaster here is these two status tokens on her can be used to increase the attack value of a unit I control for the turn. Uh, so I can pump up my Frostback Bear to that valuable three attack oh to hopefully clear out oh a turtle guard. There's my main there, we'll and no side action for me. We will see. Let's do a... Um, hmm, hmm. So from what I hear you saying as you're talking out loud, is you're not about to immediately attack. So I'm going to play a Foresight. And I'm also going to need to, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, there goes a mind maze One with meditation. One mind maze in the bin. For now. All right. Uh, that's going to be it for me. Okay. You don't think I'm going to attack right now? I mean, you said you wanted to build that panther spirit up first. I'll just buff up the Frostback uh -huh. Bear. So I'll spend oh, yeah, one no, to buff up smart. the Frostback Bear to three, <laughs> and I'll attack the Turtle Guard. All right, so, uh, well, OK. I, I'll, um, you know, counter so that yep. I do some damage, at least. So Turtle deals two damage back to me, and my bear is exhausted. And right. I also did a side action with the guides, so back to you. And hammer knights are uh, goat, leaf, basic, right? You're right. All right, so there's still one on the way. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, all right, let's... Uh, whatever. I'm going to use Foresight. Look at the top two cards of a draw pile. Hmm. Hmm. Foresight's a card giving you the ability to draw an extra card each additional round. So uh, that's really nice with the Squall Stallions Joe has here. Every card in hand can be tucked Put away. On the bottom to buff up the Squall Stallion's attack. So cool synergies there, kind of curating through your deck and making sure you have extra cards available to buff up the attack. No side. No side. To you, sir. All right, well, with an empty battlefield there, I think now's a good time for me to cash in my Panther Spirit. I'll buff it up to two Love attack. It. Love it. And hit you for another two. You fell right into my plan. Back to you. Um, okay. All right, now it is Squall Stallion time. So we will do this. And the other one will be, oh, tricky, 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 tricky. Ah. 
one of these. Um, and get out a Squall Stallion, one of the coolest cards in the game, honestly. I do love Squall Stallion. Uh, so it, it, it starts with no attack value. It does let me draw a card, which is fun. Um, but it starts with no attack value, but as you get status tokens on it, it builds up and you can discard or you could put cards back on in your deck to uh, with side actions to buff it up. Mm -hmm. um, and with a si speaking of side actions, let's man, hard to get all this right. Ooh. Um, hmm. Well, this is exhausted. Yep. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and use a side action to use Fiona's ability, which is discard a card, exhaust Fiona, and unexhaust a spell. All right, so getting extra value out of that summon spell with the book tax on it. Squall Stallion's a great companion for Fiona there, feeding the card back and just good synergies all around there. Unfortunately for your Squall Stallion, oh, please. I have Jess's signature card, Fear. It cost me one basic, and I have to sacrifice one of my own units. I'll get rid of this exhausted Panther Spirit I have no use for anymore. And that lets me discard a target unit. So that Squall Stallion's out of here unless you got any protection spell to stop it. Really wish I had that Mind Maze right there. Ooh. And let's see. <laughs> For when that uh, Hammer Knight shows up. I'm also going to use Screams of the Departed when a unit was destroyed. Spend a basic to deal one damage to the opponent's Phoenix form. I'm starting to wonder if that podcast episode was a sabotage to make my deck <laughs> worse. It was better when I was doing my own thing, even though I lost pretty quickly. Um, okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Let's summon another Squall Stallion. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Draw another card. And let's go ahead and um, do Torrent by placing a card on top of my draw pile and uh, putting a status token on this person. <laughs> the storm's brewing. OK. And Fiona still has her guard available, so it's probably going to be tough for me to chip away at this Squall Stallion this round. I'll go ahead and develop Summon Butterfly Monk. It's just a frog to summon, and it gives you a nice 1-1 one, one unit guard that heals when it dies. So Butterfly Book's down, no side action. Go ahead, Joe. So what did I miss? When did you spend your goat? I used it for screams. Uh, so no hammer okay. knight in this first five. Okay. Wow, she's being nice. <laughs> okay, let's do. Um, let's play summon time hopper. And uh, do I want to? I might as well. I think bring that there. All right. So, Time Hopper can't block, um, but he gets to put a status token on my Squall Stallion, which is really nice. Perfect. Getting some extra value out of those status tokens with the yep. X attack. And the um, the book is nice because it's a side action, so <clears throat> so I can you know play it and get him out right away, or I can mm -hmm. uh, you know summon them and then attack immediately, things like that. Yeah, not a lot of units are summoned off of a side action, so they get right. represent that speed of time magic compared to the Turtle Guard, which represents the 
slowness for value of time magic. Mm -hmm. He kind of mm. got both sides there. Wow, so thematic. Who designed this oh, deck? So goodness. brilliant. <laughs> I will summon a butterfly monk. Providing me with the ever useful unit guard ability. As Joe's building up that Squall Stallion attack value, I want to make sure I have something to protect my Huntmaster from being targeted for an attack. So Butterfly Monk will do the trick there. And no side, over to you. Um, For my side action, I will uh, torrent my Stallion. Getting tougher and tougher. Up to three in the first round. Um... And then I need to think about how um, attacks are going to work here. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. Let's think about this. Uh, you've got your guard. So you're going to kind of have the choice regardless of what happens. Yeah, both my Phoenixborn guard and a unit guard right. gives me quite a lot of autonomy for the rest of battle this round. But my, my time hopper can't block anyway, so I feel like I kind of might as well do what I'm going to do. I don't, I don't think it's going to make any difference otherwise. So I'll go ahead and target the Frostback Bear. And... Yeah, you're that, gonna. I mean, obviously, you're gonna do something about it. I'm guessing, but that's a that's a strong attack. It's one damage on something that can't fight back. So I definitely do want to guard this. Uh, I guess the choice is: Do I want the butterfly to counterattack this time hopper there, or do I want to use my Phoenixborn guard now? I think I'll guard with Jessa. <laughs> and get one damage Oops. there. Uh, my thinking there is when my Butterfly Monk is destroyed, I can heal my Phoenix Born for oh, one, man. so... He's got it all figured. Not a bad time for me to get one <laughs> damage on there, so my Butterfly heals for value. I could heal, heal the bear, too, but... Nick hates wasting game effects. So in, much value. In Quirky Circuits, he, we have to end the... The robot on the starting spot with the last card we it can't just, just stop right. when it arrives <laughs> so that's your attack you got the squall stallion big attack and a die left over but i don't have any cards hmm. with fiona the, with squall stallions there's some improvisation you know indeed what I mean? yeah it, oh it, yeah it ended up with an extra die so well it could always turn into a dice power i don't know if you have the side it, actions to get there but well, I know what these are. True, you true, know, true. They're not, and they're not free, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put down some in Salamander Monk, a nice small unit to use my last sympathy die with. Back oh, to you. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, so now my attack is just going to... Um, sort of uh, be ruined against this Butterfly Monk but at least kill the butterfly monk. Yep. If I were to do nothing, then the butterfly monk might just, like, live. Can't go over it. Well. Can't go under it. <laughs> Gotta go through it. <laughs> what is that from? I think it's... <laughs> it's a children's song. <laughs> um, although, on the other hand, I mean, as soon as my squall stallion's exhausted, you're gonna be able to you know, attack with your hunt master. So maybe I'm better off just standing pat. And sure, I guess yeah. I'm okay if none of us attack again. I, that might be better for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I will just. Um, uh, you know what I will do is I I will meditate just to plan on because I don't really need the card that was on top. Nice. Just to plan on keeping that for next round, probably. But I'll pass my main action. All right. I'll summon a salamander. There's that guy. When he's destroyed, you get a salamander monk spirit. So it's a nice little two-for-one unit. Very difficult to remove both parts efficiently. So you see this unit in competitive play all the time because it's pretty hard to beat two one-ones 
for one class die. It's very reliable, efficient conjuration. So I'll, and he's a cutie pie. But you know who can compete with that? Time hoppers. You're right. <laughs> You're right. You can also get two one ones and status tokens from hoppers. Go ahead, Joe. I pass. Pass again. Okay, I will send my salamander monk at your time hopper. Try and get value out of my attacks that I have left. Um, and you're gonna be the first player. I've got a hunt master and the butterfly monk, so I'm gonna take that two damage regardless, one way or another. Even if I take one now. <laughs> Um, I will, this time hopper is not worth saving. Let's not be crazy. Yeah, if you put, <laughs> if you put your guard down now, I can <laughs> hunt down that small stallion with my remaining three, so. But this is going to, this is looking like a very bad start of next round. <laughs> I got a full board. You got a big squall stallion, uh, though. It's not that big. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I pass. Pass. Okay. Well, I don't see any more advantageous attacks for me as well, so I'm going to pass. And that's the end of the round. Okay. Hmm. So, hmm. 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 Really, no advantageous attacks. Hmm. Well, if, if I throw everything in, I get some damage through, but then I take damage back. I can't pressure your guard enough. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I just <laughs> don't, don't know the reasons. <laughs> <laughs> and then we roll for next round. All right. Now it's time for the traditional start of round two unit pep talk. All right, Squall Stallion and Fiona, <laughs> we're about to take a beating, but we can withstand it, and we can return stronger, and we can defeat their bear and their monks and their salamanders, <laughs> and we shall. Let's and you will understand that it. it is a privilege to fight. <laughs> No turtle die for Joe. That's going to slow down the turtle guard summoning a little bit, so... He says, sneering. This is my window to attack. <laughs> the top of round is always an exciting moment in Ashes. It's when your the whole battlefield refreshes and there's possibly a chance to convert a lot of your attacks into Phoenixborn damage. Uh, the situation I have here, I could swing with all four of my units and hope for three of them to get through. Uh, the tough thing I'm feeling right now, though, is Jess's battlefield is four. That's the smallest battlefield any Phoenixborn has in Ashes. So by cashing in my entire board, I have no more battlefield presence unless I can sacrifice my own stuff to make room to summon more units. Yeah, Fiona's got much? the battlefield advantage on me of six battlefield but uh luckily some of my removal cards in the first round gave me yeah. um more presence at the start of this round so right I... so you're, you've got four units but six attack isn't the biggest attack in the world yes six, so yeah that's that's what i didn't realize going into this got yeah some, yeah. some little guys in there mm -hmm. okay. so. yes with the players, does i feel like hunt master Attack on Squall, it's free, no downside. No downside? If that Huntmaster attacked the Squall Stallion and it counterattacked, I would lose my Huntmaster, and then the Butterfly could pressure the guard, but Fiona could have guarded the one damage from there. So I didn't want to just throw away my Huntmaster without being able to fully clear away the Squall Stallion there. Are oh, you talking about end of round more so, or talking about right now? End of round, end of round one is what I'm understanding. Um, I suppose my perception was that it was my advantage if we both passed, but once I see again, I'm you know not that good at ashes. <laughs> <laughs> It is possible. Well, 
to start off this round. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see. Anything juicy? Let's not see. I'm gonna play choke. <laughs> I'm gonna play choke for my main action. All right. This spell is a cool card in ceremonial. You target an unexhausted Phoenix born, place an exhaustion token on them, and deal one damage to them. So mm. I'm going to prevent Joe's ability to double dip on mm. any uh, spell there and also get a little bit of damage through. Okay, is that a main action? That is a main action, and my side action is going to be to meditate. I'm going to throw one, two, three big cards in the bin to get a goat and two. Oh, a goat. Frogs. Shocker. You need a, jo a goat for something. Uh -huh. What could that be? Uh, it could be a dice power to recur any of these big allies <laughs> yeah, I just I'm meditated. Sure, I'm sure it's a dice power. It could be so, anything, really. What, here's what I'm hearing from you talking about that battlefield. I don't want to destroy anything you have. You've got six attack on the on the board. Yeah. It's not enough to win the game. Mm -hmm. you got no way to play a Hammer Knight at the moment. That's true. So Jess is chock I full propose peace between peace. the Bloodwoods clan. Hey, I didn't and the attack. honorable Phoenix born of Bird's Nest. Well, Let's just build things up. The tragic fate of a Phoenix born is <laughs> even if I agree, we'll still fight it there, out. There can only be one. That's a quote from Ashes, right? Yep. We made it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do... Oh, there's so much I want to do. But let's start... with a Squall Stallion. Because that's going to draw a card, and that's going to give us a better idea of what our round's going to look like. Uh-huh. Whoops, not Did a Did you stallion. draw your sixth card oh, from Foresight? Oh my gosh, thank you, Nick. There you thank go. Thank you. It's Eaten like the whole reason. Bonus. To even have that card. Yeah. <laughs> so I will spend this and a time basic for a Squall Stallion. And um, draw my, so that's, here's my, this is my um, Foresight card. And so now this is my Squall Stallion card. Make sense? All right. Yep. You're up to seven. Oh man, two Squall Stallions on the table is the best because this Torrent ability yeah. double dips on every card you put I, away. They I think I need to token. try to take advantage immediately. Oh, but I love these cards. They're all so cool. All right. I'm actually, surprisingly, perhaps, I'm going to get rid of that Time Hopper. Oh, oh wait, it goes here. Torrent Aha! on the deck. Yep. All right. All, All right. right, they're getting. I think I'm big. in. I'm in better shape than I thought I was at the end of the at round one. Oh yes. Until, until Nick destroys that perception. Let's. But see. I'm gonna enjoy it while it's in here. Okay. This this Nick's deck is in the a final four of a tournament here. Of, yeah, I got of my people who are good at ashes. I got my final four <laughs> match tonight. Um. Jason's probably watching, taking some notes right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on you. I'll attack Fiona with the Frostback Bear. So Frostback Bear has terrifying one, which means it can't be blocked by units with one or less attack. So Squall Stallion the second is not eligible to block. Do you want to block with your big one? But it has to counter. Yep. No. All right, so I cash in two damage on Fiona there. All right, I'm at four, six. I will never understand the token flipping dynamic of a five one token. <laughs> oh, if you take two, you flip and take two off. Okay. That's how I remember it. So simple. Take two, take two. All right, to me? Yep, no side now, action. You attacked Fiona, right? Yes. Yes, not the stallion. So no guard used up. 
Oh boy, okay. Let's do a meta. Oh no, that's my time hopper. Oh. <laughs> um. I sh um, Any other card filtering, juggling? Well, available? foresight, but I want to speed up at some point here. Okay, no, this this will work. That's that's okay. Foresight. No, but I still need. Okay, yes, it could work depending on how much I like this other card. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I like the other card. <laughs> we put too many good cards in your deck. Now you, now you don't know what to get rid That's of. That's the problem. This this deck is too good. There's too many good cards. Uh. Can I can I like lower this below the table so you can't see? Yeah. What I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's do this. Uh, okay, that's a main action, side action, um, will be the meditate and actually giving up that time hopper for a turtle. All right. All right. The turtle guards are coming. I will use Nature Dice Power to deal one damage to your big Squall Stallion. Okie dokie. I'm going to play Fester to destroy a wounded unit. Hmm. It should be illegal to have that card in a deck with Frog Dice. It's a pretty good combo. <laughs> Fester, here it is. So one of the, the people call this ping fester with the frog ping and the <laughs> fester. It takes two power dice to do it. So it's oh, that's true. It's one of the telegraphed things in ashes. So uh, oh. it's pretty difficult to just do ping fester whenever you want it. So when I meditated that previous turn, uh, something to look out for in this dice combination is both of those dice types because that could be an instant two dice kill on any absolutely, threat. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, I will. Uh, oh, uh, that's that's my it. turn. Yep. yep. So me. All side right. Enemy. It's turtle time. <laughs> turtle time. <laughs> All right. Have you ever, have you ever er owned a turtle, Nick? I haven't ever owned a turtle. Mm. Nick's a big pet guy. I have two rats and two cockatiels. My partner has owned a turtle. Hey, and... chat, have you owned a turtle? Tell us in the chat. <laughs> what was your turtle's name? If, if you did own a turtle, what would its name be? That's my Let's turn. Let's see. That's my, yeah, my oh yeah, side. turtle guards the whole turn. I'm really feeling this battlefield congestion right here, but... I don't see why I should do anything until I'm at six battlefield. Yeah, <laughs> it, it gives you the advantage there. So I will just put down Butterfly Monk, and I'm going to meditate one card. Oh, another fear in the bin. Ooh, I think that's all of them. One really? fear, two fear, and the one I played. So yep. All of my signature cards are gone. So I meditated mm, for a sympathy die, thinking about using a dice power to go dig around for some card to help me out this round, because I don't really have what I need in my hand. OK. Hmm. Is it my turn? Or you're thinking? Uh, meditated for a die and put second yes. butterfly okay. book down. Yes. All right, let's... I'm just kind of waiting for you to bring the aggression. Why should I? I'm going to build up first, at mm -hmm, least. Mm -hmm. um, let's do a time hopper. Boing. That's my time hopper sound effect. Side action. Status tokens. Um, main action, put down another Oh, stone. you had another I drew one. them both, yeah. Wow. I, I mean, I still kind of wanted to have all three, but... Three's nice, but... Two's plenty. Two's good, yeah. 
Very nice. Okay, so this is so cool. With the second time hopper book, the focus effect is ready. And basically, since Joe has an unexhausted time hopper into play, when the second one comes into play, it can put a status token on the first hopper, and then you get a third hopper into play. So all sorts of... Which can also place a token. Yes. So I'm seeing two more bunnies and so two units a bigger squad. So it can be two units and two tokens for two for one die. Yeah. Granted, one of those tokens has to go on a time hopper to get the second one. Right. But it's still a token. There's all sorts of tricks you can do with status tokens yeah, on yeah. your units, like flash strike is a big threat. Any unit attacking with a status token on it can suddenly boost up to attack and get quick strike. So I'm immediately thinking I maybe want to remove this time hopper before your second book. Wow, can be used. that sounds great to me. You're gonna put effort towards removing a time hopper. Love it. <laughs> it's it's a lot of value if I don't. So it's it could be worth my nature die here, or I could maybe pressure your guard, but that doesn't guarantee I'll get rid of it. So yeah, I'm just gonna side action frog ping. Wow. And great. Since my battlefield's not under any pressure right now, this is a good opportunity for me to use Screams of the Departed some more. So I'm going to okay. use um, a ceremonial die to deal one more damage to Fiona and just chip away towards I put it, the I end of the it game. Already. Cool. Uh, that was a side action. I need a main action. Your opponent from tonight is watching. Oh, yeah? Ooh. Uh oh. Hey, get him to get him to put some salamander monks on there and just leave them. <laughs> Ooh, just what leave do him I alone. Do with them? I love just I love just hanging out and watching Wait. you ping my my rabbits and I'll just not being able to pass. I'll just pass for now. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, um, Mr. Huntmaster. Yes. Mrs. Huntmaster. You feeling good? You need anything? You need a shoulder rub? Anything? <laughs> Salamander Monk? I just want you guys to feel good. I don't want you to get hurt. <laughs> I'm taking no damage back. There's just a Hammer Knight waiting in line behind the Salamander Monk. Yeah. It's like, oh, jeez. Anytime. Can this go any faster? Um... All right. Well, I'm kind of sad about your time hopper shenanigans. Mm -hmm. but you don't currently have any other frogs, so I might as well bring the next guy out and keep boosting squall stallions, I suppose. You got it. Um, that's just a side action. Main action. Time to drop my own little hammer Ooh. with the beast mage. So I am not the first player. I kind of like pointing this also just for extra clarity towards the... You got it. Um, so this is a, uh, what, a 4-4? Four, four? It's a 4-4 four, four this round, yeah. So the beast mage transforms based on who's the first player, and Joe's dropping it in the critical round where it's a 4-4 four, four instead of a 2-2. Two, two. And it has the terrifying one ability, which means my unit guard, Butterfly Monk, with only one attack, won't be able to step in the way of that. So lots of power Ooh. here with the Beast Mage getting some ability to attack. <laughs> That's a side of main. Okay, I We're got a... fuller here. All right, I'll... I'll do some more meditating. I'll get a frog and a goat. Main action. Goat, huh? Hmm. Frog and a goat. I'll have the salamander monk here attack your time hopper. Um, I don't have to counter. Oh, but but you're gonna get. You do you have to get a. Uh, a spirit. A spirit. Yes. Okay, so I'll counter them. All right, so they trade. And then out comes the Salamander Monk Spirits. 
can't block, but also can't be chosen as a target for an attack. So it's just kind of hanging out. Kind of like all your other units. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. You, oh, you... What? Frank doesn't. What does Frank know? Swing the horse. <laughs> I don't know. Might be your turn to act, Joe. Um. Man, how do I have so many dice? Did I forget to pay for anything? <laughs> oh yeah, this. <laughs> I forgot to pay for this. All right. So Three that's dice. Two. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll spend my last time there. All right. Out of time. That's magic. the previous turn. Uh, now this turn. You know, free beast mage is a real boost to the economy. Better um, use it before it gets destroyed. Oh, you've got something to just wipe it out, huh? Did know. you say all your fears are gone? I said all my fears are gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's. I don't know if I should. Uh... Let's do. I do that. I'm I'm just gonna be so sad for his board state to go away, and him him to be be able to do things. True, true, true. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna delay one more turn. I'm gonna put a mind maze Ooh, on mind maze. your hunt master. Here's the mind maze. It's Fiona's. Um, extra special card, or <laughs> unique <Yeah>. card. <laughs> it's kind of a pacing thing, but it also makes you spend a die that you weren't expecting. Indeed. It's kind of both things at once. <laughs> so Mind Maze comes so down on the Hunt Master. Die. Can't attack, can't block, can't guard, and I'm going to have to spend a die and discard a card to get rid of that. Otherwise, my Hunt Master... Oops. And for a side action... I will put this on top of my deck to empower my Squall Stallion. Okay, Squall Stallion's getting big. Luckily, I can block Squall Stallion with a Butterfly Monk. I got to punish that Beast Mage stall, so I'm going to ping it again and play another Fester on it. Frank's probably happy about that. He probably thinks I deserved it. That was that telegraph we were talking about <laughs> with the first one. I meditated because I needed both the power oh, that I yeah. It's that one window sure. to act before Fester comes sure. down. Sure. All right, my turn. Mm hmm But I still got to solve this mind maze. Uh-huh. And it's my turn, you say, right? Your turn. Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's torrent again. Five attack. And mind maze this. Oh. I don't have two cards to get rid of both of them yet. Oh, main and side action too. Back to me. Okay. Um, Festers, man. It's a nasty card. I'm going to get rid of the Butterfly Monk's Mind Maze. I really can't let that Squall Stallion swing through this turn, so I'll discard a Master Vampire. I'll spend a Sympathy Die. And my Butterfly Monk escapes the Mind Maze. All right, so we're out of, at this point, we're out of Hammer Knight territory. You can tell it's the only thing I'm thinking about. <laughs> I can't focus enough to think about Fester, Hammer Fester, Knight with the big, frogs, the big or whatever it's called. Unit last time, yeah. Now I've been faked out. They're in my head. Um, I don't know, Frank. 
I don't know if what my advantage is to kill this monk. Because he just still really can't do anything to me with what he's got on the table. But I say that and then he slowly fester frogs me to death. <laughs> What's it called again? Ping fester. Ping fester. Frog fester <laughs> works too. <laughs> Um, it's tough though that those squall stallions do need to hit. Yeah, well, I mean, you've been very diligent to clear out all the little things mm -hmm. and some of the big things. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like though, but it, you have dice left. I feel like if I attack, there's just going to be something else is going to show up. Well, That's yeah, fine. I already know. You've got you could summon monks, uh, butterfly monks. You can summon whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Possibly even a bear. Yeah, so I'm passing. All right. Oh, I really want to get rid of that mind maze, which I could manufacture that by drawing a card. Sure. Sympathy dice power. Draw a card. I do need a main action, though. I will send the salamander monk spirit at... Um, your turtle guard. Okay, he'll just take it. Okay, it takes the one damage. Whoops. Oh, I, I guess he'll... Oh, but, well, you can't afford anything too good now. Butterfly Monk needs a frog. Which you could get. Oh, you're thinking about a counter attack? If I counter, he's protected. That's what's nice about the turtle. Yeah, withdraw. Very what, cool. Uh, so I kind of want him. Well, no, but he could block somebody else still. So I'll I'll um still stick here. All right. So turtle guard absorbs the damage. That was my side and a main. So back to you. Pass. Pass. I will discard a card. Pay a die. Get out of the other mind maze. Go ahead. Um, I pass. All right, I'll try and pressure that turtle guard off the table, attack it with my hunt master. Um, um, but he could, and he would not quite kill it back. I'll go ahead and guard. Cool move. Another two gets through. Mm hmm. Well, you know, Fiona. She loves turtles. Yeah. <laughs> She'd do anything to protect and a uh, a humanoid turtle person. Yes. <laughs> Good for them. She's the April O'Neil of uh, Argaya. <laughs> uh, that's my attack. Uh, back to you. We need a yellow uh, jumpsuit. Fiona Mercy with alt art. Ooh, coming to an organized play kit near you. <laughs> Even though he's, it's not like it's in her deck. Um, so we're just down to monks and stallions, huh? Yeah, I got my one unexhausted <laughs> unit left. Uh, so I guess uh, I might as well. Uh, I'll, I'll attack Jessa at this point. Yeah, I'll block five damage for sure. And I'll remove one damage from Jessa when my butterfly is destroyed. Yeah. But I have the first turn, so that could be worth it. Indeed. Next round. Indeed. What are you doing? I'm all done. No dice, no cards, no units. I mean, and these are. I can't even remember if I exhausted him, but he can't do anything. <laughs> right. Yep. <laughs> all right. I pass. Pass. Okay, well, this is You're much slower going than the, the other game. Now? That's for sure. Than our first game. Yeah. Which the is much more like... Uncontested Hammer Knights. Circling each other. Your deck's got the mine mazes coming down, slowing things down. That is good. Uh, top around pep talk. Top around pep talk. <laughs> Look at what I did for you, says Fiona. You know, I protected you, turtle. Now it's time to make me proud. Go out there and kill something. Ooh. 
And the turtle says, I can't. I'm rooted. I not, don't have the ability to attack. And attack. It's on me. <laughs> 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 One, two, three, Speaking four, of turtles, five. I got some turtles. Ooh. My deck is dwindling. I've been meditating pretty aggressively to do those uh, ping fester plays and summon butterflies. A lot of... A lot of your power cards are gone, I have to say. Yeah, no, no fears. Um, no festers left. I lost a magic siphon there. Got my extra card from Foresight so, this time. I got a, I got a ten, kind of crank it, crank it up now and try and close this out before I hit the bottom of my deck and lose to fatigue. Uh, oh my, oh my, what is happening here? Oh my. Turtle guard recovers one too. Oh yeah. One of the rare conjurations that has a recover value, and it sure is a unit that That's can take That's why I love it, because of that recover value that I just learned about <laughs> it having. Okay, I've got the first turn. What am I going to do? Before the hammer knife. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you got to respect the hammer knife. <laughs> You just gotta. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, 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 this is a lot of fun. And it's all thanks to you, Nick, in that podcast oh, the episode. The deck doctoring is coming through. <laughs> I'm expecting all sorts of We're about to spend them a lot of time dice in one turn. <laughs> cool. All right. We're going to play Accelerate. Yes. Every cool turn starts with an accelerate. <laughs> draw? Yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. So I draw a card. Uh, I can change two dice, which I'm not even sure. My dice are quite don't good here. I don't even one really. time class. Oh, yes. Thank you. And so I guess I'll change a time and a sympathy. I don't, I mean, I feel like I probably have your the dice. Your dice are I pretty need. good, yeah. Uh, and, but the big thing is I had two extra side actions right now. Yes. All right, so, and that's it, right? Is that everything? Yes. And that was just a side action. So right now I got two side actions and a main action left. So let's summon a time hopper. Okay. With one of those side actions. Like that. Uh, it gets to place something on somebody. Uh-huh. I've got another side action and a main action remaining. So let's summon a time hopper. Uh huh. Uh, where are you at, time hoppers? It's gonna gift this focus, which uh, with the focus ability. Mm hmm. And yeah, I get an, a third time hopper. Boom. And it gets to place on something which let's do the squall stallion just in case it somehow magically have gets through attack. i still have a uh, main action to do uh-huh so now let me think about that um <laughs> oh boy let's do Maybe I should have done this in a different order. Oh, well, too late. Uh, main action. You got something else you want to weave in there? Well, yeah, my main, if I, if with my main action, I summoned a standard bearer. Okay. You mind if I do that? That's Go right like ahead, yeah. Start. Matter, I didn't draw. Did I draw any cards? Just off the accelerate, but that was before you did hoppers, so that's fine. Uh... Yeah, and I did not draw that. It, all right, if you're okay with it, whatever. Yeah. We want to show the best game we can here. All right, so I've got a full battlefield. Stand. What? Standard bearer gets a status token, and when it attacks, it can empower its fellow attackers based on the number of status tokens it has with plus one attack. So, and it, so it gets one, and then the whole reason to have done it first is so that 
there's one more Fuck on the that. standard baron stat. But yeah, there's, that's the whole point of it all. Very nice, very nice. Okay, huge swing coming in. Um, and geez, any combination. And I think I spent all the dice I needed to. Accelerate, two hoppers, standard bearer. You should spend one more time die. He, um, I think there's something else I forgot too, maybe. Accelerate, hopper, hopper, two for standard bearer. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, that's a big swarm. That's a big swarm. Four di four time dice in one turn. I wasn't joking around. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, jeez. I'm gonna have to. I'm feeling like crescendo could come and like remove my blockers, and you get a big swing through. So I'm gonna do some sacrificing. I'll play Blood Chains. Destroy a unit you control. I'll destroy the Salamander Monk Spirit oh, to wow. place an exhaustion token what a sacrifice. on a target unit. <laughs> Let's exhaust that Squall Stallion. Boo. I mean, I don't know. The standard bearer with the time hoppers are still pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and I'll do a scream as well off of that <laughs> destruction. Fiona going down to That's your Salamander Monk remaining. screaming. <laughs> Five life remaining. Hmm. That's so good. I guess it's time to get moving. Just Is that a what handful you're of screams for me. Yep. <laughs> and my battlefield is full. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's do side action invigorate. It's going to cost me a sympathy die, which I'm not forgetting to spend. I get three status tokens on, but I mean, I have to go on different units, but that's fine. I'm gonna do one. It's the main one we want. Oh, yeah. And let's just do this just in case that guy's around. So, period. Looks good. That's a side action. My main action will be an attack. Let's do standard bearer. What the heck? And the time hop. Why not? They can't block. And I've just declared attackers. Boom. You'll never see it coming, except that you just called it literally like a minute ago. Oh, crescendo. <laughs> so I have to discard a card. Uh, we'll do the turtle guard. Because I've got that unexhausted still. And it is, I have to deal one damage to one of mine. And a sympathy die. And this, I, I, was that from the turn before? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, it's fine. And uh, yeah, and discard the card and do a damage. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's try, I kind of don't want that turtle to get pinged. It just, it just feels dangerous. So I'm just going to do it to my Squall Stallion and focus on this round for the moment. Seems good. Uh, and I do three damage to one of yours. Um, and I guess let's do the Huntmaster since the Frostbite already has two. Kaboom! Damage. When my Huntmaster is destroyed, I'll spend another die for screams. I'll ah! spend that. That was the Huntmaster. <laughs> Four life left, and now here's the attack. So what kind of power you so got? So it's one, three, five, seven. Seven coming in. What should I block? The standard bearers gotta gotta go. Yeah, I'll block the standard bearer and see if I can clear that away for later. Okay. Well. So my oh. prospect bear is destroyed. So you're saying deal... I'm still alive? Yeah, I deal two back, but you're exhausted. Luckily, screams the departed is once per turn. That's right. It's the only thing keeping me in this game at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then two, four, six comes into Jessa. Finally. Well, I guess I did one and then you healed it. Yeah. <laughs> so Good now hit. we're in the opposite situation here. <laughs> Where my battlefield battle is full, and I'd like yeah. love to clear it out. 
Yeah, you see, self-sacrifice <laughs> effects or like board clears that affect your own side can be really helpful um, in just battlefield-based decks. And every deck has to respect the battlefield in some sense. But yeah, if you're built around doing multiple big swarm swings like that, yeah, sometimes you have to do the dirty work and clean up your own stuff. Uh, but yeah, suddenly yeah. my battlefield is completely gone. Um, that probably means Nick's winning this round, I think. I just got to get some screens gotta, or some swings through. You got to get One, through the... Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, you've got a lot of... Full. Now, I do have cards and some dice still. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, odds are you're going to be able to maneuver around me here. I will meditate I'm, one. I might need to spend that horse just to see what I can get. Well, and I could foresight before that, so I can really yeah. dig for something good. I'll meditate for the old hammer knight. Finally! My worst fear or fears have finally been realized. Good old hammer knight. It's good on offense, it's good on defense. It can pressure guards, it can destroy things after the guard is down. It does everything. Sorry, we've moved it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's Hammer Knight. I got four dice remaining. Go for it, Joe. All right, I will... Um... Oh, sorry. Foresight. I'll use my foresight to just look at the top two. Okay. That's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. <laughs> so I'll put them both on the bottom and see what else I get. There they go. So I will do... I think you have to do one on top, one on bottom, actually. Oh, you do? Uh, you're right. I think I've... Perhaps I've done that wrong in the past. That's a new reason for huh. this. So... Hmm... I guess I'll do this. Well, now I know it's not really worth it to... Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'll go ahead and draw with my horse die. Okay. Draw a card. I can put one card on top or bottom if I want. Uh, but no, I don't. It's fine. Good to go. Okay. Mm, so I got my hammer knight. I definitely... I think I want to attack with the hammer away. It'll punch through that turtle guard. Well, let's attack. Attack Fiona. What do you mean it'll punch through the turtle guard? It's got three attacks, so it'll oh, you mean it'll destroy that, it'll and then I have when it destroys a unit, I got the aftershock effect, which is crucial here. It'll give me one extra damage on something. You kidding me? I want you to destroy stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta, gotta use my stuff. Gotta get some screens. I mean, you're already gonna scream, so. And I don't what want do I these care? to survive next round, so. Yeah. Okay, well, I counter. Okay, so two counterattacks. Um, when your turtle's destroyed, I'll spend one for a scream, and then I'll also aftershock to deal one damage to this standard bearer, I think, is okay. a pretty sizable threat for next round, so I'm happy to clear away that one. A lot of tokens there. All right, any you done, or no? Um, yep, that's it for me. Yeah, one of the weaknesses for Jessa is going up against swarmy things and standard bearer buffs, the swarms that you have with time hoppers, so uh, I feel a little bit more comfortable blocking a Squall Stallion, which is just a single big thing, with my variety of small defenders I have available to me, but those wider swarm swings with standard bearers seem a little bit more difficult. All right, let's try to... Okay, I'm going to play a Polarity Mage with my newly found battlefield space. It lets me get an alteration spell back, which Nick taught me is good for Fiona because of Mind Maze which we played before to mm, somewhat middling effect, but it's a lot more dangerous to Nick at the moment, I think, in some ways. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, I'm getting low on cards, so like every every resource you make me discard or waste uh, has, has an effect. Uh, that is it. 
No okay. side action. Mm, you got one die left. I'm gonna throw down a sweeper, Nature's Wrath. This is just one nature oh. die and deals one damage to everything. So all units. Literally all my stuff dies. They're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I love it. Wonderful. Kaboom. <laughs> Another just classic card you see in a lot of decks with nature. Uh, Nature's Wrath is just a very powerful effect for one die. We were just talking about how battlefield congestion can be a real thing. So Nature's Wrath clearing away your own stuff can be really good. So Maybe you, did, did you put one on? I did okay. put one there for my hammer knight. It's and hanging on by a did you scream yet? I'm gonna one ceremonial die for a scream. All right, we will say yeah, that was one of the rabbit's screams. Ah. <laughs> Go ahead. Um. All right, I do have a die left. Hmm. Hmm. You've got a die left. One die to one die. If you know I have mind maze. So if I mind maze you right now, you will be able to get rid of it, and then you'll be up a up hammer, a hammer knight knight at the top of the round, yep. which is all, definitely all you need. Mm -hmm. So I think I got to get a turtle. Turtle, yep. And just save this mind maze for next round. Right. Or will I? Ooh, <laughs> I'll spend a die. Put out the salamander. Back to you. Ooh. Um, I pass. Um, I'll attack Fiona. Uh, I will not counter, I guess. You have to if you block. Oh, if you block. Yeah, that's right. Ah, you and your... He's sneaking through. Improvements. He's sneaking <laughs> through to be killed. <laughs> yeah. The spirit. Well, yeah, there. I might as well move it to a spirit. So, yeah, because I, I know... Oh, wait, you don't have a die for screams. Yep. Okay, well, that's fine then. I'll counter. All right. Oh, but you can still get through. Okay, I see. Well, whatever. So, yeah, the spirit <laughs> now sneaks through for one. Next right. round? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay, so I got one life left. Pass, so pass, I need pass. to kill him before any units Unit die. Nice. <laughs> Tall task. <laughs> <laughs> I th I'm sure Frank is right. I'm sure there was some moment earlier where I should have launched, and I didn't. It's. I'll tell you what, when you are a average or below ashes player that is a scary thing to do to like jump off the cliff and yeah. just like go and like we're doing it you know i mean one of the most effective control methods in ashes is being the aggressor because you call the shots with how the attacks line yeah. up and every attack that you get to pick you your opponent has limited options to change that. That's their guard. That's their unit guards. That's how they want to block things. So if you can call the attacks and put them in situations and pressure those limited defensive options, you come up ahead. So even though you're playing aggressive, it's really playing control. I mean, I wouldn't want, I just want to play these two decks against each other again. Yeah. I mean, this has been so fun. I, I really love my deck where it's at now. You really helped it. And, Good. And uh, I want to, yeah, I just want to play with it again. I mean, and I want to play, I, I like playing against this deck. It feels like a good matchup now. Yeah, totally. I, lo I love where the deck has come. But it's not quite over. Top of round. I'll throw everything in. You'll throw everything in, eh? Yep. Have you just declared attackers? I've declared attackers. <laughs> Stasis. Stasis. Look, I'm showing it without Nikki reminding me. Now we're improving on all <laughs> levels. <laughs> so this is going to let me, what, basically exhaust your Hammer Knight? 
Is that yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah it costs a time die. It's a temporary exhaustion. It sticks onto my it's, hammer knight, stops it from it's attacking. It's a side action slash reaction spell, which is super weird. Yeah, yeah, one of the more unique things in the game. Okay, okay. So, oh, so you have to. It's not gone. It's not gone for the round. You just have to spend a turn. Yeah, it, it kind back. of flips the tempo. Stasis is so cool in this deck. I think we talked about this in the deck doctoring, but yeah, you can use it defensively to stop an attack like this. But you can also use it with those crazy accelerate turns, um, disable your opponent's blockers by putting stasises on them, considering them exhausted, and that helps the Squall Stallions attack through big defenders. Unfortunately, I'm still going to lose because I, the to, Salamander. I mean, literally, if I, if I had one more life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this, we could at least have a, a few interesting turns, but. Yeah, I either have to take the wound on Fiona and lose, or I have to counter with the turtle guard and kill Which the monk. Just opens up and for then the, the monk screams and it bursts Fiona's eardrums to death. To death. <laughs> she died of burst eardrums. Awesome. Well, good game, Joe. That was so fun, and uh, I think back. the deck is in great shape. I just, you know, have a little ways to go. Uh, and look, I'm playing a great deck. We know. This has performed well in a tournament, so I'm really proud of it. Although I'm really grateful to you too, because you help, you're the one who helped make it good. So.